Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be filming my quick uh, <laughs> my Q and A. Um, I asked you guys to ask some questions. Um, and I got a lot of questions before I even <clears throat> decided to make a question and answer video. So yeah, if you want to see what I'm going to read, <laughs> please keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to look through my Instagram and see. Okay. So the first two questions I got were, one is, where do you like to shop? <clears throat> well, I like to shop mostly at like Forever 21. Um, that's my store, it's always been my store. When I'm balling, I like to go to like Windsor, but mostly when I'm balling on a budget, I go to Forever 21, or when I'm really, really balling on a low, low budget, but I still wanna look cute. I also go to Marshalls. Marshalls has been my store for like the longest. Um, but yeah, Marshalls or Forever 21. Um, what are tips for starting a YouTube channel for a 13 year old? I, I was thinking about that one for a while. Um, well, number one, you have to be consistent with your YouTube channel. Me, I'm a little bit older, so it's kind of hard because I have to go to work and everything. Um, but that's number one, be consistent. Number two is have like a little bit good quality, um, I guess you can say. And number three is to do something that is trending. So for a 13 year old, if unless you like to do something already, like if you like to do makeup, then just do makeup. Um, as long as your parents are okay with it. But um, yeah, be consistent and do something that is going to get a lot of audience. And always put yourself out there like every once in a while, be like, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't always have to be posting a video, but let them look at my chest. Let them know that um, you have a YouTube channel. Tell your friends, tell everybody. For me, when I first started, I was a little bit like iffy because I want no one to like judge me or like make fun of me for wanting to have a YouTube channel. But honestly, you can go far from YouTube. Like that's how you really get noticed. So if you love something, just go out and do it. <laughs> I always get this question a lot, so I always laugh. But someone asked me, how are you single? <laughs> I get this question like on the daily, like people always message me and say, oh, how are you single? Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Well, I am single because I choose to be single and I choose not to waste my time on anybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not kidding. But I'm single because like I want to be single. I choose to be single. Um, I got that question, how often should you put on face masks? Well, you should put on a face mask uh, at least twice a week. Uh, for me, I always mask on a Monday and then maybe uh, Friday or Thursday. Twice a week, if exfoliate twice a week. Um, you don't want to over mask your face because depending on like a mask you use, you could like be like too like drying out your face too much. Uh, what kind of eyelashes do you recommend? Definitely. Ardell's. I recommend Ardell lashes, uh, Velour lashes. I recommend, I believe they sell them at Target now. They're a little bit pricey. I think I got mine for like 16 bucks, but they're really, really cute. Um, my, I really want to try Miami lashes, but those are expensive. But to keep it like on low, low, Vegas Nay. They have my Walgreens or Ulta. I think those are about like $5.99. Ardell's are pretty like cheap. They run from like $4.99 to $6.99 depending on which ones you get but definitely if you're balling on a budget are dull. What makeup product can you live without? Hmm I think I can live without hmm I think I can live without primer let's just keep it easy um sometimes when I put on makeup I forget to put on primer I know moisturizer is a primer kind of not really but um yeah I think I can live without primer on my eyelash. Yeah, I can live without primer. Sometimes when I'm doing makeup like really fast, like I just forget to even put it on. So I definitely can live without primer. What's a good foundation for oily skin? Definitely the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Or I use this one today. It's the L'Oreal Infallible. It's Pro Matte. Um, I just put it on, and I can, like this one keeps my face matter. Oh, I just squeezed all over myself. Matter than um, the Maybelline Fit Me does. Maybelline Fit Me gets me a little bit more oily. 
throughout the day, which is really, really weird. So, oh my god, I just dropped all this foundation on me. Shake my head. Hold on. This is why you kept your stuff. Okay. The next question I got is, how old are you? How old do I look? I'm just kidding. Um, I am 21 years old, going on 22 in October. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I am 21. I'll be 22 October 10th. Yeah. Another one I got. How long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube since 2015 and I'm still in the same position. Um, yeah, I've been doing YouTube for since 2015. Um, I actually gained a little bit of more of uh, subscribers. I have 110 now. I used to just have like 80 or 70. Um, but again, it's just how you put yourself out there. If you can travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, if I wasn't so broke, I think I would travel to uh, Punta Canta, I think it's called. And um, yeah, Punta Canta. And then there's this place in near the Grand Canyon or in Utah or something like that. Um, this company went with a whole bunch of beauty bloggers that I watch. And it's this like big, like, it's this hotel um, in the Grand Canyon kind of ish. Um, you can see like the mountains and stuff from there and it's like all glass, it's awesome, pools are outside and yeah, it's just really, really beautiful. So I would go there, I just forgot what it was called. It's expensive, I looked it up. Uh, Rishi, who are your favorite beauty bloggers? Right now, my favorite beauty bloggers are Manny MUA, I like Alif Sari, Daisy Marquez, um, what else do I watch? Patrick Star, uh, yeah. What are your favorite things to watch on YouTube besides makeup? Um, my favorite thing right now to watch, I've been watching are actually mukbangs. They're really funny and they get me hungry, so I watch them. <laughs> and ASMR, ASMRs, the people when they eat and it's like quiet and they like hear them chew, which is disgusting. I watch those. <laughs> What are your favorite palettes or palette at the moment? Um, my favorite palette at the moment is still the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I think it's with the bomb and it's always going to be the bomb. And then the Modern Renaissance Palette because I really like, I'm obsessed with like the shades of pink in there. It is a dream you have when you get a little bit older. It's a weird question. Um, well, the dream I have, obviously, to make it on YouTube and to make YouTube a living and to be able to have like meet and greets, go to um, beauty events and everything that's like my goals so I'm still like I'm still trying to get like a camera and everything because obviously like I hate to say it but brands don't really look at like small people like me like I wish they would but it is what it is and yeah that's the dream I have is to be noticed and to get myself out there and you know become something so that was my quick q and a I hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to ask me any other questions you may have that's makeup related or any important advice <laughs> i can add, answer it for you um just follow me on my social medias makeup by monica with two eyes and i'll see you guys in my next video bye